In this tutorial you will learn how to create cinematics in Unreal Engine 5. We will create these cutscenes using Sequencer. You will learn how to add keyframes to the camera, how to use the camera rig, how to use the camera crane, and finally you will also learn how to implement this when your game begins or whenever you want it with a trigger point. To create a basic cinematic camera, click this icon, go to Cinematic and hit City Camera Actor. Now you see this one in your scene and this one shows you what the camera sees. So let's rotate this camera because I want this to be inside of the picture. Let's move it down a bit. Let's move it a bit closer and move it into focus. Let's say this is our starting point or our ending point for a cinematic. What you're then going to do is click this icon and add a level sequence. The master sequence contains multiple level sequences or other master sequences. So this is the one we need for a simple cinematic shortcut. Click this one and give this a fitting name, for example, Lighthouse Cinematic, and then click Save. Okay, right now, you can see here, this is inside of the sequencer. Have your camera selected. So find your camera, wherever it was. And let's move this one way back. And maybe even further back. Okay. So then our lighthouse will come into focus. Now click on track, act out the sequence and add this camera, the Cine camera. Okay, good. Now click here if you want your normal view back, which is what I want. So I can see this and the lighthouse and my entire scene. Then scroll down to your camera component and click here on transform and create keyframe right there. Then go to the end of your cinematic. By the way, if this is shown as frames, I like it as seconds, so click back to seconds as this. And open up the transform right now. Look for location. And in the Y axis, I can move more down until this one is in focus. And if this is, click once more to create a new keyframe right here at transform. And now when I move, it's moving from the one to the other keyframe and sliding in between. So this is how you can create that basic cinematic camera. So let's add it to my level blueprint. So click here, open level blueprint. And make sure you have here your lighthouse cinematic selected. Create a reference to this one. And now from event begin play. Let's drag from here and type in play. And this is the one that we need. Connect these ones up, and now when you hit play, you will see our cinematic coming to our lighthouse and then it stops, and then our game begins. So maybe this is a reference to uh, we need to get to the lighthouse, for example. But there are better ways to do it. I already deleted the previous camera and the sequencer, and let's say I want a rig that goes here to the well. So for that, let's click this icon again, and this time go to cinematic, and also need the camera actor. Let's place this, uh, for example, here right now, just for starters. But this time, once again, click this icon, cinematic, but drag in a camera rig rail. This will be very interesting. Because right now, when I select my camera and then drag it here on top of the rig rail, it is parented to that camera rail. So, wherever this moves, the camera also moves. By the way, um, let's also reset this default position. Click here on the value. And this is perfect. Maybe the Z-axis, so it's a bit more on top. I think I like a value about 70, just fine. Because now, the neat thing is, when I select the camera rig rail, you have these spline points. And you can drag these spline points out, so the camera will follow that spline point. And now we can, with Alt and drag, drag in new points. So for example, just like this. And then you can also rotate these points, for example. And place it however you want. Now, this is a bit searching and tweaking because this will make you dizzy if you do it just like this because the path is narrow. But just for tutorial sake, I will continue this path right here. So select this, Alt, drag, and make sure you have this blind points here. And by the way, you can also move them uh, up and down, but this will make the camera 
are the player a bit dizzy. So right now it goes here to that well. And now with this camera rig rail selected, not the camera, but the rig rail selected, you can see at a value of zero, it is at the beginning, but a value of one, it is at the end of our destination. So when we go now back here, you can see the orientation of the camera just doesn't follow along. Joe, log orientation to rail, click this one, and now the camera will follow wherever it goes. It's a bit snappy, but for this tutorial, this will just do. Then once again, click here on this icon, add level sequence, and then let's name, let's name this well part cinematic or something like this. Hit save. And now make sure both of these were selected. I do this with click shift and then click on the camera as well. Click the track, exit the sequence, and then the current selection to this one. Okay, we already know this from before, but this time I want my animation a bit longer. So control and scrolling will do this. And let's say this is about 10 seconds. Once again, you can click here, short time as seconds. And this red line is the end point. So let's drag this about here. Okay, and now for our camera component, click here at zero on the transform location. This will be the beginning of location. Then find your camera rig rail. So that one is uh, selected in here. Click track to the current position on rail. Because right now the current position on rail is zero. So make sure you have it on zero. Now for the camera rig rail, the current position on rail at here is zero. And also add a keyframe for that. And here at the ending, it is at one, like I showed you here. And then also the keyframe is already created. So now when I move from here to here, we see our entire clip played out. So once again, I showed you how to do this in the uh, blueprint class. So open level blueprint at event begin play. But this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. Namely, when our player just walks here in front of it, he gets a view over here. So click here, have your mouse, for example, like here, and type in box. So you can drag in a trigger box just like this. Hit the R key to scale this up. So when he walks through this, he needs to be able to see this. So with this box selected, click here, open level blueprint, right click. And you can see the reference to the trigger box, but I'm going to add an event. So click this error on collision, add actor on begin overlap. I don't need this anymore, so delete this one. And the actor uh, in this case is the first person character. This can be different from yours. So only when this character collides, it will be triggered. And then we go back here. Then click here on the well path cinematic. It needs to be clicked in here. Then here, right click create a reference to this one, then hit play. So play sequencer. And then once that is done, because every time I walk through this door, this will be uh, triggered. So after this is done, make sure you have this box clicked, right click. And this time we need to create a reference, destroy this. So we can also walk through this one time. And now let's see what happens. You might get a little bit dizzy, but you get a point. So I walk through here and then cinematic should be playing. And here we go. Now it is about 10 seconds long. Okay, bit snappy right here in the corner. This is way too much, but you can tweak this however you would like. And there's your end point. And then once you walk again, this won't be happening anymore. And the final one I want to show you is the crane. So click here, go to cinematic and at the camera, Rick Crane. And you can see this from movie setups. This might be familiar to you. Then once more, add a camera actor. And let's parent this to here. So drag it onto the camera rig here. And now you can also see this view here. When I move the crane pitch, it also moves the camera. You can do the same for the yaw positioning. So left to right, you can see it already swinging here. And this is what the camera show you. You can also choose to have the camera in that rotation. But for me, that's a bit too much. So let's reset these values as now. And you can also tweak the, the length of the camera here. So you can also move forward and back for your cinematics. It's also a pretty nice uh, way to set this up. So the camera right here, maybe a bit higher. Okay, then with these two selected, click here, add level sequence, and let's call this one crane 
cinematic save. I already had one, you won't get this error. So let's have this one selected once more, the camera and the camera rig. Click track, actor to sequence, and make sure to add both of these actors right here. Okay, let's zoom out a bit and let's make this about eight seconds long and also drag this one right here. So first of all, the camera component, the transform position will be the one we have right now. And make sure to add a keyframe to that. Then for the camera rig crane, click add track and let's choose the crane pitch for this one. And click here to add the keyframe and at the ending go about a little bit beyond eight seconds. And we can see how this is going. Maybe this view is fine and click here to add the new keyframe. And now when I go from left to right, you also have the cinematic created. Then once more, hit the save icon. You can choose to uh, exit the view that we had there before. You can see it once more here. So for example, maybe this is more convenient for you in this way. So we save this one. And now when I have my crane cinematic selected, it is right here in my scene, but when you hit G, these elements appear and disappear. Go back here to this icon, open level blueprint, and on event begin play. Let's make sure we have a crane cinematic selected. Right click, create a reference, and play the sequencer. And test this out. You can see our crane cinematic just works fine as the other ones.